It'll be interesting to see what setup the Ravens go with on the power play here. I'd be very interested to see if they want to try to stretch the pass, especially with three players out there for the Carabins. Merrick over to Dino Witzer. Simkowski on point. Merrick in front. That shot gets blocked, knocking the stick out. Oh, she's favoring her left, her left hand, I believe. That's number 17, Mary Pierre Dubé. Yeah, she took a hard shot off the hand to block that. No call on the play. No, oh, we're gonna get a call. Tripping play. Again, the ref behind the play calling it, so I don't see. And Racine, she may sound like easy. Just cold blooded that save, my goodness. I really thought Dino Bitzer had that one in the slot like that. But five on three now for the Ravens for a full minute. Stay out of the box this time. Yeah, very well, Ravens. That's the one thing they've been doing great this game, just staying out of the box and letting Montreal make those mistakes. So it's gonna be a timeout here, I believe by Montreal. So, Carlton again, getting a chance to draw their power play five on three. Who do you think they go to? Oh, it'd be very interesting. I mean, off the top of my head, I'd have to say Mary Pierre Chamblay has been having a great game so far, especially on offense. But you also got to look at Megan Wilson, too, who has five points. She's tied with Chamblay. This Ravens team, not a big point getter in their department, but nonetheless, all it's going to take is one goal, and especially in this game. Lots of options for the Ravens on attack, but they do have to beat all Brasile. Absolutely, and especially this Ravens team that comes in this game with the least number of goals at 21. So let's see who Pierre Allen puts out for the Ravens. We've got Mitchell, Trombley, the Wilson sisters, and Wouters. Looks like it's going to be our own. Now Joe and Dubois out for the Carabins on this penalty kill. But then Wilson. And obviously that one was going high, but she blows it down. And it's gonna take a lot of traffic to make sure Racine can't see the puck. Megan Wilson, she loses the draw this time. And I know with a chance to get it out. Then Wilson off with the point. Trombley over to Louders. But then Wilson hammers it home in overtime on seniors night. Beckton Wilson with his second goal of the game and it could be came at a better time. Wins the game for the Ravens off the point shot. Racine has just been great this game, seen every shot. Unfortunately for one shot when there's no traffic and it goes right past her into the right corner. What a game by the Ravens to get them back in the playoff race to jump ahead of New Ottawa. Yeah, one point ahead of you all right now. But then Wilson on the power play. Ravens take advantage of that five on three and it was great punch movement leading up to the goal. Absolutely. I mean I mentioned this earlier in the game. The stakes were gonna cost one team at one point, and unfortunately it was the penalties that killed Caravan. Just taking two penalties and going that five on three just seemed too large of a task, especially late into this game, and it cost them big. So the Ravens get a key two points for this game.